Hey, hey, wise. Listen, Coach T here with you on this beautiful day, on this beautiful day. And I wanted to check in with my wise. Listen, it does not seem like it is winter time. Let me just put that part out there first, okay? <laughs> I'm like, let me go take a walk. Let me go, <laughs> let me go outside and take a little walk. But listen, I wanted to come to you today and just have some little, some little, some little chit chat with you. This, just chat, chat it up with you a little bit. Um, I had a client. I had a client who asked me this question, and I thought I would address that question today. I thought I would address that question, and especially, especially for my wives who are standing in the gap for their marital restoration. Especially for my wives who are standing in the gap for their marital restoration and who is actually living in the home with their husbands. Who is actually living in the home with their husbands. They are going through that hard time. Their husband is still unavailable even though they are in the home with them. And when I say he's unavailable, that means he's probably there. Um, he's, he's just existing. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably not as involved. He's probably not participating in any type of family activities. He's probably um, in his own world. He's probably, you know, doing his own thing. Um, this video is more so, so for them. The question that she asked was, when is enough enough? Okay, when is enough enough? And she came from a point of view of, I've done everything. <laughs> I've done everything that the Lord has asked me to do. I, I followed through with God's instructions. I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been reading my Bible. I've been reading my word. I have been doing my small groups. I have been going to the meetings. I have been doing the work on myself. I have did these things and I am still in this position, he is still being the same way. I am still struggling with these things. So when is enough enough? When do I say, okay, God, like what is next? Where are we going from here? What is going to happen with us from at this point? Because the more and more I pray, it seems, it seems like the more and more he gets worse. The more and more I uh, speak on, speak, you know, speak of uh, trying to be positive and trying to um, <laughs> try to be positive and try to uh, say um, certain affirmations and just really try to give myself um, some encouragement on this journey. The more and more I do that, God, it seems like things are getting worse. Okay. It seems like things are getting worse. And so my question is, when is enough enough? <laughs> when is enough enough? And I have that answer for you guys. I have that answer for you. It is enough when your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health is affected. It is enough when your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health is affected. And I'm going to try to go down those lists of things and give you the reason why I said that, okay? Why is have to understand? God has given you a specific instruction as far as standing in the gap for your marriage, okay? And then a lot of times what wives are struggling with, um, especially maybe for the ones who are um, not in the home with their, with their spouses, their main thing is, I need him back in the house. <laughs> like, I need him back here with me. I feel like if he is home, if he is in this household with me, things would be a certain way. I can see him. I can watch him. I can, um, you know, you know, I, I have, I have, kind of have a feel what he has going on. But what wives do not understand, because Coach T have experienced both, and what wives do not understand, really and truly, it is better. It is so much better for the protocol to be on the outside, for your spouse to be on the outside if he's not ready or in a position to, I'm hearing noises. <laughs> if he's not ready or in position, huh? If he's not ready or in position to do the right thing by his family, it is better. It is better because that gives you an opportunity time, wife, to get yourself together, to get yourself in order, to prioritize yourself, to focus on other earthly assignments that God has given you. That gives you an opportunity to move on. It gives you an opportunity to move forward. 
right? Whereas if a wife is in the home with a prodigal or is in the home with this husband and struggling and still going and he's still unavailable to her um it can be it can it can really mess with your psyche okay it can really really mess with your psyche it can become very very abusive it can become very very abusive and when i say abusive because if you're giving your all, your best to a person and they are pretty much just neglecting you, ignoring you, or when they do say something, they're not saying anything positive to you or they're not saying anything that's uplifting or they're not showing any type of signs of them wanting to be with you or they are in the home and they're doing the same exact thing that they would do on the outside. They're bringing the outside inside your home. You have to understand mentally and emotionally that is going to wear on you mentally and emotionally that will wear on you when your spouse is just disrespecting you straight up to your face and you supposed to just sit there and not do nothing <laughs> no eventually eventually you will react eventually you will respond to that and the only way for you not to respond to that and the only way for you not to react to that is you got to be in a healthy place you got to be in a healthy place you got to be able to say uh-uh uh-uh, I love me too much. <laughs> uh-uh. This Lord, I know you I know what you had said, God. <laughs> I know what you said. And let me just point this part out there. If God said it, it's coming. It's coming to pass. If God has made that promise to you, it is definitely coming to pass. But at the same time, wise, what you have to understand is you have to prioritize yourself. You have to prioritize yourself. And one of the things that wives do not understand when you're in that type of environment, when you're in that type of situation, you have to understand that eventually, <laughs> as you are being mentally and emotionally wore down, it will start to enter, enter, you know, um, intertwine, intertwine, interrupt, <laughs> and start to mess with your physical health. It will start to mess with your physical health. Now you're starting to feel sick. Now you're starting to feel nauseous. Now you're not, you know, you're not feeling your best. Now you kind of like limped over. Now you don't want to go to work. Now, now your spiritual health is 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 interrupted. Your spiritual health is interrupted because now you don't feel like praying. Now, you don't feel like fasting. Now, you don't have a desire to go to church. Now, you don't have a desire to do any of these things because you've been holding on to the promises of God and it seems like those promises that God has made you are not coming to fruition. It seems like the things that God has promised you is not coming to pass. So, when is it enough? It is enough when your mental, emotional, physical, and or spiritual health is affected. That's when it's enough. That's when you have to make a decision and say, okay, all right. I done prayed about this thing already. God already didn't say what he said. He ain't changed his mind by his promise. He has not changed his mind about what he said is going to come to pass. I have done all I can do. These things are in my control. These things are not. So what does that mean for you? What that means for you is you move forward with life. Come on, Jesus. You move forward with life. You move forward with life. Does that mean you have to sit there and stand it? That's up to you. That's up to you. And that's a decision that you have to make. I don't tell wives to leave their spouses. I don't tell wives to leave their husbands. But I don't tell them to sit there and just die and fall over either. <laughs> I'm not telling you to sit there and just die and fall over. One of the things that I emphasize in her bonus boost is about putting up healthy boundaries. And you have to put up those healthy boundaries not for your spouse, not for your husband, but for yourself. But for yourself, oh no, I'm not going to disrespect. So if you're going to be disrespectful towards me, if you're going to treat me like this, if you want, then we're going to put a, we're going to put some walls up. <laughs> we're going to put, we're going to put, we're going to put up some barriers because we're not going to do this. We're not going to keep on living in this way. And you're going to just keep and come and go as you want to do what you want to be as you please. And I'm supposed to just be like, okay, no, move on wife, move on. All of God's promises are yes and amen. But you have to understand, it comes a time. It comes a time when enough is enough. And let me tell you this. <laughs> let me tell you this. 
There's an expiration date on foolery. Come on, Jesus. There is an expiration date on foolery. And God has already said what he said. God has already made his promise. God not going to go back on his word. If God says it's going to come to pass, it's going to come to pass. But do you have to sit there and necessarily be flipping your fingers and waiting for it? No, that's not what he wants for you. He wants you to be able to go and live life. He wants you to be able to live. He wants you to be able to do other things. He don't want you to be consumed with the worries and the troubles of what your husband is is not doing and so many wives too many wives are getting caught up in what's not happening right now for them and they're focusing so much on oh, if he will only do this if things will only be this way if we can only get to this part and we can only get past this place so many wives are focusing on those things and they're missing the opportunities that god is presenting to them right now I tell wives all the time, when you're present, when you're present, because God is doing something right now. Guess what, wife? Even if things are not going accordingly, even if your husband is not behaving, even if things are not going well in your household, even if your marriage seems upside down. Oh, but God told me this was going to happen. And it is. Oh, but God said that this is going to happen. And it is. It is. Sometimes things happen and sometimes things are sometimes things are delayed. We have to stop putting a time limit frame on God and know at the appropriate time in its due season because there is a due season for your marriage to be restored. Your due season may not be what somebody else's due season is. Your due season may not be what somebody else's due season is. And so this is why it's so important for wives to make sure that they're getting busy about their father's business. They're getting busy focusing on their other earthly assignments. We cannot, wives, we cannot sit around and let the day go by. The Bible tells us, the Bible tells us we must do the work of him who sent us while it is day. Because nighttime will come and we will not be able to do it because it's going to be dark then. You don't have time to sit around and be waiting for as soon as he come home, I'm going to do right. As soon as things get right in, in my marriage, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way. As soon as, you know, things go, go this way, I'm, I'm going to do these things. No, you have to get busy now. Being about your father's business is it, it's, it's also meaning taking care of you, taking care of yourself, taking care of your temple, self-care and prioritizing yourself, wife. It is so, 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 so imperative, wise, as we go into the 2022 year that you not focus and call up on all the things that your husband is not doing at this time, whether in the house or outside the house. Give him to Jesus and keep him moving. God, you said what you said. I'm going forward with life. Whether that means starting over somewhere, whether that means leaving the home, whether that is, okay, I'm going to go and start uh, building over here. Whether that means I'm going to start this career, whether that means I'm going to start going to school. I'm going to go start a, a new business. I'm going to go start a new career. Whatever you're starting over and moving forward looks like. I'm going to go start this ministry. I'm going to go start focusing on helping somebody else. Come on, Jesus. You cannot get caught up, wise, in what your husband has going on. You're not responsible for his choices. You're not responsible for when it's going to happen. It's going to happen when God says it's going to happen. He already told you it's coming. Huh? He already told you it's coming. So if he told you it's coming and he already has promised you these things, get focused and prioritize yourself. Prioritize yourself. Don't go into the 2022 year. With that same mentality of, oh, I'm standing in the gap. Oh, I'm standing in the gap for my husband. I'm standing for my marriage restoration. Good. What are you doing with your life? Good. What you got on your agenda? Good. What is your 22, uh, 2022 uh, New Year goals? What is it you want to do? What is it you want to prioritize? Because listen, when we all lay to rest, and we like, and we take our last breath, and we have to go stand before Him on Judgment Day. He ain't gonna be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm waiting for my husband, Lord. <laughs> God don't got nothing to do with that. That God, I'm like, I ain't got, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. He's gonna want to know what you did and how you served Him here on this earth. He's gonna want to know how you stored yourself here on earth. He's gonna want to know what you, what you did for Him here on earth. Were you just sitting around waiting around for your husband to come to Him senses, and you ain't came to yours? Come on, Jesus, come to your senses, wives. Come to your senses. Come to your senses. When is enough enough? When your mental, 
emotional, physical, and or spiritual health is affected. When you are no longer walking, because you think, because a lot of us think, okay, okay, I, I'm, 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 I'm doing the will of God. Not if your, not if your mental, emotional, physical, and uh, spiritual health is affected. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because God said, I want you to steward yourself. You have to steward yourself well. You got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Hmm? It's time for us to be about father's business wise. Don't go into the 2022 year doing the same old thing. All right? Listen, I hope that has been an encouragement to you. If you have not signed up for your Herbonius Boost, I want to encourage you to sign up for your Herbonius Boost. There is still time. There is still time to get it for the discounted price that it is now. Um, before we go into the 2022 year, because that will be changing, that will be changing. But I will honor, I will honor um, this year by giving you it for the price that it is now. Um, before we go into new into, and go into the new year, sign up today. www.marriagechroniclesbytanika.com. Blessings.